Hello and welcome to Mochi in Frosting. It's the uh, sixth, I think, the sixth game of the of the Lonely Wolf Treat series. You know, like um, the the games by Nom Nom Nami that I've uh, played quite a few already. So, you know, I, I really recommend checking out the other games if you haven't. You know, because this one's technically the sixth part, and it follows kind of like a story. But anyway, this came out uh, pretty recently. Not like super recently, but you know, recently. And I want to check this one. I want to check this one out as well. Apparently, you know, no, it seems it seems like Mochi is very sad though. So it might be a bit of a sad game. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Let's go. The last time we left off from the story, though, yeah, their garden got all wrecked and everything. Right? They came back from, uh, from like a, I think a beach or something like that. You know. And then came back home and someone like wrecked their garden. Why did they do that? Treat. Our garden. They killed it. Someone killed it. I'm sorry. If not for me, if I wasn't here, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, because I mean there's like some themes of like, uh, um, I guess prejudice, right? Between like, wolves and... And other t species, you know, of animal people, I guess. It's been a while, actually, so I don't really remember everything. But there's that. There's, like, you know, different species of animal people. And they hate each other because of, you know, what they are, I guess. That sort of thing. Don't say that. This, this isn't your fault, Trait. It's because I'm a wolf. Wolves aren't gardeners. I should have known this would happen. No, that's not right. It's not. I'm sorry. I keep making your life worse. Mochi. Come on, Treat. Let me take you somewhere safe. Sorry, this is so sad. You know, most most of the Lonely Wolf Treat series is actually just, you know, pretty cute and wholesome for the most part. Again, some 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 themes of like prejudice and like that sort of thing, but usually it happens outside of the story for the most part. Mostly it's just, you know, nice and cute. I don't know, this just starts off really sad. I don't know, it's gonna be the, the entire game's gonna be like just very sad. Um, but, uh, Mochi, I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. But, and you don't make my life worse. You're not the one who, you're not the one who's doing that. Yeah, you shouldn't victim blame, you know? Especially the if the victim's yourself, I guess. But I really, I really feel like if we have never met, you could have lived happily in frosting with your cousin. And that's not true. Please don't think like that, Treat. Oh yeah, um, like uh, her cousin. Wasn't that her cousin just a uh, just a big old asshole? Anyway, it's very mean. I'm sorry. It feels true. Because you're living with me, you'll get hurt. I should have realized that. You're not responsible for that. I have to take you to the hot springs. We can talk about it when we're safe inside, okay? Okay. Oh, he's walking around. I guess we'll control these mochi. I'm sorry. That's okay. We're almost there. We can save. Oh. <laughs> mochi is very upset. A little piece of white. No strong feelings. Any items? You have seashells. Amazing. And two bucks. Annie May Hot Springs. Hmm. I was surprised to see you tree crying when you came in, but now it all makes sense. What a cruel thing to do. It's so outrageous. Agreed. You are right to come to us first. We'll aid you on your revenge quest any way we can. Ah yes, all for revenge. Such a lust. Um, no. Um, me. I'm not sure that's entirely appropriate. Mochi isn't suited for revenge, you know. Just get her, like, an eye patch, you know? Give her some... I don't know. Some, like, assault rifles, and let's go. I don't know. I'd like to find out who it was. You see, Annie, how could anyone now want revenge after seeing other efforts trampled? In any case, the two of you are welcome to stay here tonight. I can't imagine you want to return home. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, May. Even though you're like your names are kind of like a pun. 
I just think of, you know, the, the, the name as being a pun, but anyway. Will you be okay here if I go? Into frosting? Yeah, into frosting. I understand. I'll try not to take too long. Mochi. Get your cardigan before you go. It's windy. I don't want you to get, get a cold. And also stock up on plenty of ammo. No, uh... Yeah, I'll grab it. Thanks, Street. Go oh, pew pew pew. Revenge. No, uh. Will you be okay by yourself? You can't exactly come with me. Yeah, woes aren't allowed, actually, in the main town. I know. Don't worry, Treat. I'll find out who did it. I don't want you to get hurt. I know. Don't forget your cardigan. I won't. Leave Treat to us. We'll look after her. Thanks. It's nice to have friends we can rely on. Offering respite is our duty. Or respite or respite. I always, I always forget how to say that word. Because, you know, you think spite. That spite is a word, but it's not respite. It's respite, I think. Respite. Uh, this is a hot springs after all. It was built for relaxation. Of course, if anyone suspicious shows their face here, I'll, co I'll come and get you right away. I thank you again. It means a lot. If I were allowed to frosting, I'd eviscerate the culprit myself. <laughs> you feel the same, don't you? Have you gotten got so mad you just want to tear into someone? Yes, join the dark side. Maybe. Forgive me, Milchi. I must be projecting my own violent thoughts a bit too carelessly. When you're small, it feels good to imagine yourself with power. Imagine pummeling someone who's wronged you so hard to never get up. But I'm being too dark again. Take care of yourself out there, Milchi. Okay. I guess, you know, she's just like... A Sith Lord? Don't worry about it. Is it... Well, where's the card again? Like, up here? No? Okay. Uh, or maybe just go back home, you know, the house, and just get the card again. Can I... No? Can I take a quick bath? Can I move from that? Okay. Do 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 Why did they have to pick the day out of any other day? Why on such a good day? We haven't done anything wrong. What has Treat ever done to anyone? She hasn't done anything. <sighs> she hasn't. She doesn't deserve. Treat doesn't deserve to feel like I'd be better off without her. Time to get the guns and start shooting them all. No, uh, at least they didn't wreck the inside of her house. I mean, that's nice. At least you gotta look on the bright side. My cardigan should be in the dresser. Okay, where is the dresser? I guess on the left there. Anything I was gonna interact with first? Is a chair, bed. Oh, I guess we'll sleep in the hot springs. I mean, the first thing you do when someone's vandalizing your property, you would call the cops, but I, I guess, you know, we're living in a property that isn't really covered by official government, so probably, you know, the cops won't probably will not help us at all. Hmm. Well, it do 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 do. Empty, empty trash. The trash is always empty. Ah, new sprite. Amazing. Or at least, oh, I don't know, is it, is it an old sprite, you know, that has been put in the game before? But we are very upset. We really are just punish, you know, punish Mochi. We even have like a, a bang covering one eye. I'm to summon the dark gods. I mean, we, I mean, technically in this world, you can summon demons. It is a thing you do, you know, just sell your soul and make a contract with demons. Summon that one demon lady and ask her to blow up this town. I mean, that's a thing you could do. Mm. Frosting. Is this frosting? I assume this is frosting. A friendly, safe, and secure mountain paradise for rabbits. I hate this sign. Anywhere else we can go? Mm. Can you go here? 
Moxie's not there. Whatever, I kind of forgot. It's been, it's been a while technically, so I don't really remember all the events that have happened. Was it like, I remember Moxie being kicked out of the hotel. Um, I wonder where else, you know, they're living. But anyway. Hello. Is anyone there? I'm a rabbit, so it's safe. I am the gate? I mean, I guess, yeah, go. There you go. You know, in normal RPGs, you can't just climb over things, you know? But I guess you can here. Hey, you, stop! In the name of the law. The gate's closed, miss. You can't just climb over it. How else am I supposed to get in? I need to find whoever destroyed our garden. You can't climb the gate. You have to wait for the guard to let you in. I'm not gonna wait. Huh? I said I'm not going to wait. Do you have anything to do with it? Wait, with what? A garden! Someone destroyed it while we were away. Uh, what's your problem? I've never seen you before. I don't know anything about your garden. Then shut up and stay out of my way. Who's out here shouting? Keep it down. Uh, mind you, this bunny climbed off the gate. I'm trying to get her to leave. That's my cousin. Leave her alone. Uh, sorry, I didn't know you were related. You do. This guy make you cry. What do you want me to do to him? I'm sorry. I don't tell Sanbei. Someone destroyed our garden. I don't know who. Show me. I want to talk to Danny. Danny hasn't come home. Show me your garden. I don't know what to do, Juju. I don't know who did it. It wasn't you, was it? You would do something like that, right, Juju? I mean, well, I mean, she was, um, very hostile in the beginning of the series, but I think she's warmed up a bit. She's not as racist, I guess. I don't know. Moshi. I know we haven't been talking, but it was never because I hate you. I would have destroyed something of yours. Juju, I really need your help. Shh, it's okay. Will you show me what happened? Yeah, follow me. Damn, I don't like that wolf either, but... This is a little overboard. Will you help me who find who did it and then murder them? I have some ideas. I can at least bring you around with me to question people. Okay, but there are rules you have to follow. Uh, what rules? You can't say mean things about Treat. I don't want to hear it. You promise? <sighs> sure. You promise, right? Yeah, I promise. I can do that for one night. Sheesh. Good. I don't want to be in a fight with you, Juju. I miss you. You can't be mean to treat. I love her. <sighs> Let's go. And thus, the investigation starts. It's a mystery game now. Only two bucks to her name, though. How are we gonna afford, you know, interrogation tools? Do we need to some? Do we, do we need to do, to do some waterboarding? I don't know. Anyway. Juju, there's one more thing that we should say before we do this. What? Treat confessed to me earlier today, so we'll be a couple from now on. I don't care what anyone else thinks of it. That happened today. Yes, while we were out. Then we came back to the garden being like that. Hmm. That really sucks. Yeah, that's why I want to do something about it. I understand. Thanks. I just wanted to be clear about it so you wouldn't be surprised later on. Not really surprised to begin with. Whoop. Well, who should we try first? I'm not sure. We could ask Senbei. His friends are most of the first guys, I suspect. Uh, who's Senbei? Uh, he's cool. His dad is the witch who built the wall for us. If we walk past my house and follow the wall, we'll end up there. I'll follow your lead. I'm gonna mind you. Come back, well, go to your house real quick. Why not? Take a nap. Uh, Mochi, I thought we were going to the base. I miss being able to come here. I miss seeing you and Danny. I couldn't forgive myself, but I missed you. I'm glad that I can talk to you again, but I'm still really mad at you. But you're helping me, so thank you for that. Uh, yes, conflicting feelings. 
Yeah, I'm not too happy you're dating a wolf, but you're still my cousin. I still want to help. Well, how do you feel about it, knowing that Triton is my girlfriend? Well, everyone makes mistakes. I dated Danny for a week in middle school, then he turned out to be gay. Well, there you go. Well, that's an even worse response than I expected. Well, you asked. Yeah, silly me. That's just how life works out sometimes. Uh, are you sure you're not hungry? Yeah, I was just thinking about the times we would leave juice in the freezer to make ice pops. I remember when we mixed up all the different flavors to make the ultimate ice pops, but then they turned out so, so gross we had to toss them. Yeah, and you got so mad you were like, ice pops over babies anyway. What a waste of time. I still stand by that. Adults prefer fancier desserts like gelato. Or gelato, gelato, gelato. Hmm, I still think ice pops are good. Okay, oh no, we're sympathizing with Juju. Even though Juju was definitely, like, really mean to us before. I guess she's just, I mean, obviously, since we're so related. It's from a different perspective now, so she's, just, she's a lot nicer. Oh, sure, you've been crying a lot. Wash your face a little. Now, I have to find out who destroyed our garden. We don't have time to stop and wash off these tears. But you have time to come here and reminisce? A reminisce? Well, let's get going already. Nothing's changed. Everything here is the same as I remember. Even though my life's changed so much. There you go. Well, see, we can get there, I guess. Anywhere else we can go? You know, just for fun. Cinnamon, open up. The Cinnamon family still lives here, right? I thought they were involved. They're too scared of Wolves to risk making her angry. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you. Uh, sorry about earlier. I'm the junior guard. It's so it's my duty to stop anyone from sneaking in while no one's looking. Stop making things up. There's no junior guard position. You're just being a nuisance. But someone should be guarding the gate at night. What if wolves get in? Why would anyone let me be a junior guard? Hey, what wolves do you think are going to come here? Ah, oh, well, we live in the mountains, so there are wolves around. Don't you think they're too busy minding their own business to bother to come into a place like this? Have you ever considered that? Wait, you're that freak who lives with a wolf. Hey, don't call Moshi a freak, you twerp. I'm sorry. Beat him up. Uro, 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 uro. Uh, do you know anything about who destroyed our garden? So it really got destroyed. I don't know anything, but don't you think it's strange for a wolf to have a garden anyway? We planted it together. Why is this strange? Uh, wolves are carnivores. They have nothing to gain by gardening. Mochi, are you going to start arguing with everyone you see? Or will you come to Senbei's house with me so we can figure things out? I'm going to interact with everything, because that's what you do. The Warren. Now we see studio apartments? Wasn't this an inn before? Yeah, it got converted to apartments because more and more rabbits wanted to move in long term. That makes sense, I guess. Mochi, wait, we should go talk to Senbei before charging into Warren and pointing fingers. Alright, oh, okay. But first, we'll do other things. Uh, the store is closed, I guess. I assume. Top of the line, fang proof vest starting at $299. Uh. A waste of money. That was a few hours ago. Yeah, if a, if a wolf wanted to kill you, you know, these days, they wouldn't use their fangs. They would use knives. Nah. Eclair. Anyone in there? No? Okay, no. Welcome to Frosting, friendly town. It is, it is a lie. When Treat first came to Frosting, this is where she came through. I wonder what it looks like now that the snow is all melted. We cannot, we will not know, because we will not go there, at this point in time. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Yeah, your old place was in the way of how they wanted to expand the town, so it got torn down. Uh, well, it's not like I was coming back, so... Uh, we could at least ask for permission. Uh, is there a special key for this gate? I wouldn't call it special. A lot of people in town have one. The gate locks automatically, so if you forget your key, you just walk to one of the main gates instead. Hmm. And no one really keeps an eye on who comes and goes through this one. It's intended only for residents of Frosting, so no. It's not guarded all that closely. Hmm. 
interesting. Go this way. Well, that's Senbei, I guess. This is where Senbei lives? Yeah, pretty nice, huh? What kind of person is he? Oh, he's really cool. You'll like him. He said he, you say he's friends with most of the rabbits you suspect. Well, he has lots of friends. That's what it's like being popular. You can't help it if some of them happen to be troublemakers. Juju, you're doing this to help me, right? Yes, obviously. If we ask Senbei, he'll probably know who wrecked your garden. Okay, let's ask him. Yeah, let's ask. But wait, let me go back here. So I, I, I didn't know that that was actually Senbei. I thought it was like around over here, actually. Follow the wall and everything. Hmm, Flan. Anyone in there? Can you tell me anything about the rabbits who live here? A oh, single pair with two young kids. Can't imagine he was involved. Mouse? 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 Eh? Come in. Oh, you're the you're the guard. You're asleep, I guess. I mean, obviously. Uh, hi, Mr. Mouse. Sorry to bother you late, uh, late at night, but I have some questions if you don't mind me asking. Did something happen? You know the garden I started with treat? When we came home today, it was completely destroyed. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear it. If anyone passed through the front gate today, headed in that direction, could you tell me their names? I wish I could help, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary today. They could have gone through the hot springs gate instead. That one's unguarded. I'm sorry. Would you like to contact the authorities? I can file a report for you. I don't know how much rapid police would be willing to help a wolf. Yeah, so I guess that's another aspect. Because I, I was thinking, like, you know, call the cops, maybe. But I guess not. That's also a reason not to call the cops. Uh, that's a good point. Or maybe if you pretended it was only you living there. Uh, just forget it. No one even passed by? What time did your shift end? About two hours ago. I just finished having dinner, and I was headed to bed soon. Right. Sorry for the intrusion. I hope you find the culprit. Okay. I mean, he's a nice guy. Despite being in the position of authority. He's one of the good ones. Carrot, celery, and alcohol. Uh, do you need something? What does alcohol taste like? I gotta drown my sorrows. You're a little young for that. No, she isn't. My baby face uh, little cousin isn't a kid anymore. Really? I'll be 21 in February. Oh, okay. Then come back in February. That's close enough, isn't it? Let her taste it if she wants to. No, it's fine. I don't really care. It's not, it's not the time to get drunk at the moment. Anything else? I guess that's it. I explored everything in town. What was this? The guard station. There's a lot less traffic on this side since it's mostly wilderness past this point. Anything else you do got the same? Mud, you're scary. I hope she won't tell Senbei that I made her mad. I'm really sorry. If you want to start a garden with a wolf, I suggest moving somewhere else first. Think of the trouble you're causing with everyone who came here to live in safety. Okay. Alright, jackasses. Let's go to Senbei. I have a feeling, well, I have a feeling Juju here. Has a crush on uh, Senbei, maybe. You know, calling him super cool and all that. I don't know. It's a fountain, the water is cold. Mm. Alright, Mr. Rich Guy. What are you like? Uh, okay. Well, it looks like a haunted house. Ah, uh, Manju, welcome. Senbei's upstairs in his room. I assume you've come to see him. Oh, thank you, sir. And who have you brought with you this time? I don't believe I've seen you around, little bunny. Sorry for the late introduction. This is my cousin, Mochi. Mochi, is it? Well, that's a fine name. I am Brixo, the Brick Witch. A rather apt name, eh? My father was a clairvoyant. Hmm. Oh, usually that gets a laugh. Have I spoiled the mood? Please excuse her, sir. She's had a tough night. We're trying to resolve the issue. I see. Well, cheer up, little bunny. Your cousin here is helping you out, so things can't be all bad, eh? Senbei's upstairs, right? Yeah, let's head up. Uh, come on, Mochi. Can't you at least put on a fake smile? This witch is a powerful guy. I don't want you to talk to Senbei if you're going to be this rude. Mm. Okay. 
Manju, good evening. Oh, hi, Sanbei. Totally, you know, totally not having a crush on this guy. You go ahead and wait here, Mochi. I'll be back down with some information soon. Are you just gonna go and make out? It's it's nice to meet uh, see you. Um, I came to ask you about something. So can we talk in private? Sure, come in. Okay. Well. Um, make yourself at home. Okay. Do you just do you always just stand there to, all the time or something? It looks like there's multiple rooms. Maybe like a few witches live here. The kitchen dining room. Hmm. A big bunny, but ironically, we're a bunny. Then what's this kind? What was this kind of bunny? I guess. Well, I think I read in the book. You know, again, a long time ago. But there is a distinction between you know the the, the animals that we know and also the animal people. Even though they're called the same thing, there is a difference. In like in this world, anyway. Um, what's it like being an animal form all the time? Is it easier? I know you won't answer. I'm just passing time while waiting for my cousin. Sorry to intrude. Dot 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 dot. Family photos. Seeing these makes me want to take pictures with Treat and Moxie. Naturalism, embracing your true form. Skim through. As animal folk, we come into this world with furry bodies, claws, and fangs. Each species has its own unique traits. Why throw it away to conform to humanity? It may be inconvenient at first to cope with the limitations of your natural body when immersed in a society designed for human bodies, but do not despair. There is hope for us yet. Within the past decade, many naturalist havens have been built near major cities. If you are not able to migrate, find out if your local wilderness is habitable for your species. If all else fails, many have still been able to attain happiness living at home alongside their understanding families. With only a few small household changes, you too can live the way you want. Remember, naturalism isn't always a choice. The various spells can cause an animal to lose their transformation ability even before birth. Be respectful and refrain from flip-flopping. Okay. Hmm, never thought about any of this before. Weird. I feel like that's a metaphor for something, but it's kind of like I don't know. It's just interesting to think about because I believe you know all these animal folk in the world, um, they're the way they are because of magic. You know, like magical spells and witches. You know, taking on familiars and everything. Uh, it's just interesting to think about. Looks like magic encyclopedias. Exactly what you expect a witch to own. TV. It's ginormous. The Bored Witch, a children's book based on an old legend. I recognize it from elementary school. Sure, read it. Well, once upon a time, there were two witches. They left their world, traveled together across the universe, until one day they found somewhere else.、Hmm. The people of somewhere else were peaceful. They had never known war or even fear. It was a heavenly paradise, and the witches spent a hundred years living there happily. Good witch loved the people of somewhere else, but the bored witch thought. Well, this world is just no fun at all. I've grown tired of this piece. The bored witch cast his spell, and suddenly the people of somewhere else grew ears and tails of all different shapes and sizes. They became half human, half beast. Their cursed appearances caused them to fight amongst each other. Their civilization fell. The good witch had to do something about his friend who had betrayed everyone. So, with a heavy heart, the good witch sealed the bored witch so that he would never harm anyone again. It was too late for the people of somewhere else. The half worms had unsettled their hearts, breeding hate. All the good witch could do was to complete the transformation spell, so that the former humans would become full beasts. Only then was order was restored. Freed from their sinful half forms, the animals lived happily ever after. The end. Okay. The sinful half forms. This version is different from what I remember. Yeah, weird. Weird. That's kind of like a origin myth of. You know, of the animal folk, but also half forms are considered a sin. Is that like the human version of that story or something?、Mm. These shelves are full of novels, which is really love to read. Yeah, there you go. I guess that's it. Can't watch TV, no? I guess not. Anything else? Anywhere else we can explore? Seems you met my wife. As you could see, she's a naturalist. 
She wanted to move our family here so she live among her own kind. In the course of my job of building and maintaining this wall, it was convenient me uh, financially too. Now that money's a concern. Uh oh. Okay, so that's your wife? Okay. She's a naturalist, I guess. Interesting. And admittedly a bit weird, but alright. I mean, I don't know. I can't I can't judge this world by the standards of our world, so I don't know. Hmm. I guess, you know, they're just making out in that room. Uh, can I go to the kitchen? Okay. What's in here? Sammy's room on the far right. Hmm. Are we forced to go in? I guess we can't do anything else? No? We leave? Yeah, I'm done waiting around. Okay, well, we're just gonna like barge in and they're just holding hands. Load! Do you? Oh, sorry for the wait. Let's get going. Uh, wait, did he know anything? Um, yeah, we'll talk outside. Okay. Well, wanna tell me what happened? Oh, well, I couldn't really find the right moment to ask him directly, but... What? Well, there, there's, here's the thing, Mochi. I really like him. He seems really interested in me, too. Before you knock, we almost... Juju, what about my garden? So what if Simba didn't know anything? Did I say I was giving up? We haven't gone inside the warren yet. There's still a ton of suspects left. You just wanted to come here first so you could talk to your stupid crush. Yeah, just think about your own problems instead of others, but anyway. Well, that was my only reason. I really thought you might know something. Besides, you're not the only one who still gets to have a loud life. I'm still helping you, aren't I? Huh. Help from Juju. What a waste of time. You're in there making out with some guy while I'm stuck waiting in this place I don't even know. Stuck talking to the witch who built your stupid wall for you. This horrible wall doesn't even need to exist. Also, by the way, I, don't, I guess I, I didn't think about this, but like, the wall, I guess that's kind of current, isn't it? But anyway. Uh, doesn't need to exist. Those foxes were gonna kill me that night. They said it themselves. Is that reason enough? I'm not like that. They're Moxie's friends. It was a misunderstanding. Whatever. Let's just drop it. I hate that you understand. I hate it. Oh, there, there, baby cousin. I don't want you to cry anymore. We can just not talk about the things we disagree on. That's been working so far, right? Just ignore our problems. I don't want your help anymore. Just forget the whole, th the whole thing. I don't care who destroyed the garden. What? You throw a huge tantrum, now you don't even care? Doesn't matter. So what, you're just gonna leave? Are we just gonna go back never speaking to each other? Even though we're family? I don't know, Juju. You haven't been treating me very well. I do miss you, but it hurts too much to be here like this. I'm sorry. We're gonna back the tree for now. You know... Your whole life only has gone worse by clinging to that wolf. Ah, stupid Juju. She thinks so too. Aka. Oh, they can go over here as well. Interesting. Uh, yeah, do, do they make the wall? We'll, we'll, we're gonna build a wall. We're gonna make the wolves pay for it. Somehow. For some reason. There you go. I guess we're leaving. Oh well, I guess we're not gonna find out who destroyed the garden. Why did I think that it would be okay to let Juju help? Has she always been this bad? She was only thinking of herself. Didn't she see how important this was to me? When I'm crying this much? Well, you know, people are like... I mean, generally speaking, people tend to think uh, of themselves, you know? That's kind of like, oh, people are... People are selfish. Because they can only think about the problems that are in front of them instead of other people. It's hard to think about other people. Anyway. Or maybe I'm always crying in front of her. She didn't realize. And I didn't think about it. It's time to leave. I wonder if we are going to solve this mystery. Maybe, maybe not. This doesn't seem like we're going to go interrogate anyone. <laughs> I miss Moxie. She would yell at Juju for me. Not that I would do any good. Well, I'm just gonna go back. Mm. Okay. We're eh, just gonna go back. Turns out we didn't learn anything. Oh, gee, welcome back. 
Did you find the culprit? Tell me who it was. It'll be my turn to take revenge next. No, I didn't find who it was. I don't really care anymore. Yeah. You don't care? Did something happen? It doesn't really make a difference, does it? Even if I knew who it was, even if I got to explain to them how it hurt me so much, they just wouldn't get it anyway. Seeing my cousin again made me realize that. This is very, very, very unsatisfying. <laughs> we'll have to do an investigation of our own, May. <laughs> I'm glad we have friends like you. I'm sorry that I had to give up. And don't you worry about that one bit, Mochi. You deserve some rest after everything they pushed you through. Trina is waiting for you upstairs. Room 105. Thank you both for everything. I uh, remember which room? Last door on your right. Please rest well tonight. Okay. No, I wonder who it would be, you know, if there were, would be a suspect. I'm still, I you know, me, the player, is still interested in who the suspect is. Um, because they would have to leave. I mean, I imagine, because they didn't leave, they probably didn't leave in the front gate, and they didn't leave through the wilderness, they probably left through the gate that Mochi just left right now. So who would that be? I don't know. But, no. Lily. Actually, who here? Like, which room is it again? Room 105? Is it this one? I guess so. Hi, Tree. Mochi. Agu. I was worried. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm sorry I left you here. I know you were really mad. I didn't want you. I didn't want to hold you back. Thanks. I'm okay now. It was a bad idea. The whole thing. Juju showed up right away and asked her to help. I thought she would help me. I wasn't thinking straight at all. Juju always used to stand up to bullies for me, so I thought... What a stupid mistake. I just want to forget the whole thing. Mochi, she should have helped you. It's not your mistake, it's hers. Thanks, but... I shouldn't have trusted her, especially when she's been so horrible to you. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, Treat. It's okay. It's not your fault. But a garden is ruined. I couldn't find who did it. I don't care about that. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. I'm sorry. I keep crying, but when you're the one who's suffering more... Treat. Maybe we should take a bath. I think that'll help us both relax. That sounds nice. Bath. I'm glad we have the whole place to ourselves. Me too. What should we do now? Hmm? You know, for the future. Wanna run away together? I already ran away, remember? <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically, yes. This is different. What if we move somewhere nice? Uh, or rather, this is different. What if we move somewhere nice? We could live closer to Moxie. Or maybe we could go traveling together like Trick does. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to plan ahead. It'd be hard to stay here and pretend like nothing happened. When I live in my pack, we built houses out of ice, so that we'd be able to move easily every few months. I came to Frosting thinking I would leave once the seasons changed, until I met you. Now, oh, Treat, this is the longest I've ever stayed in one place. It would've been nice for it to be my home. But if we can find a new one together, maybe it'd be better. It will be better. I'll make sure of it. Thanks, Mochi. I love you, Treat. The least I can do is make sure we have a nice home together. You'll make me cry again. Mm, sorry. Okay. How very nice. Well, it looks like Annie and May went to bed. We're staying up so late. Yeah, we own this hot springs now. Hey. They will get mad if they heard you say that. Well, you better keep it a secret then. I'm glad you're feeling better. Only because I've got you. Okay, going back to like cute and wholesome, lovey dovey, cheesy stuff. Oh no. I guess. I guess we just got over the problem. Ah, who cares? Let's just go, just go to bed. Take a bath and go to bed. Shoot, we have to sneak back so we don't have to wake the other guests. Okay. No. Knock on their rooms. Everyone wake up. Hit the pot, hot, hit the pots and pans. No, okay. You don't have to walk so slowly. Okay, okay.
we made it back unseen. You're, you're pretty stealthy, Treat. You have so much energy. I'm just happy. This is the kind of night I wanted to have with you after we got back from the beach. Me too. I was nervous before, but now I just feel relieved. Nothing like something bad happening to bring us closer together, huh? It'd be nice to skip that part. Yeah, I would. The stars are so pretty. Yeah. I used to live in Daifuku. It's a big bright city, so the stars would get lost in the sky. I didn't know the nice sky could look different from the other places. It's nicer here. I'm glad I decided not to stay in Daifuku. What kind of place do you want to live in, Treat? Well, I like Mount Sorbet. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, I like it here too. Then it's decided. We'll find a new home here, away from Frosting. But I should probably go and see my parents first, to tell them where I'm going this time. Mm, Treat's parents, I bet they're nice. At this time of year, it shouldn't be too difficult to travel to that part of the mountain, if they're where I'm thinking. Would you come with me? Of course, I'd love to meet them. We we'll have to ask Moxie too. Let's go and see her tomorrow then. Tomorrow. I'm nervous. I have to lie down. Okay. Save again. Even though I, I I always just end up saving like make a lot of ton of save files in these type of games, but it really doesn't matter, you know. There was that one part where you could find like maybe an extra like low size story in like uh, one of the games, I believe the second one actually. But otherwise, though, these are pretty linear. Uh, linear so, treat. Are you going to bed without me? Sorry, just think about introducing you to uh, Moxie to my parents. It's making my heartbeat go f so fast. Were you even ready to have two girlfriends? I guess that's the canon. No, you can't say it. I'm not used to it yet. Girlfriends, girlfriends. Wah. It's Mochi, Treat, and Moxie. You in bed? Uh, can I explore? <laughs> no? Okay, no. Time for bed. Holding hands! I didn't know this was a super lewd game. Treat, even in the dark, your face is bright red. And that's because you suddenly held my hand. No, it was like that before I even did anything. Sorry, it just feels like, finally, despite everything, I'm really going to get to live the kind of life I wanted. I'm so nervous, but I'm so happy too. So, thank you for liking me, even when it wasn't easy. I don't know what you're talking about, Treat. It's super easy to like you. I love you. I love you too. Oh God. Again, I don't know, it's just... I mean, the games, yeah, are super cute and everything, but when it gets lovey-dovey, it's so... I don't know, it's so cheesy, but it's fine, whatever. It's, just, it's too cute. That's the problem. Uh, let's get some rest. We'll have a lot of traveling to do tomorrow, won't we? Do we continue? Okay, well, that's pretty short. That was pretty short. No, 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 Nami. Patrons. Special thanks. These people. Okay. See you next time. Alright. That was actually really short. As it turns out. I wish there was a bit more. I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. I, I explored as much as I could in the little town. So I don't think there is. You know, it would be nice to learn who was the culprit and everything. That was kind of like its own little mini mystery plot. But I guess not. I guess that's not that's not really the type of game the Lonely Wolf Treat series is. It's mostly just, you know, just a simple cute story of an underlying, you know, themes that are actually pretty dark, but oh well. There you go. That's it for Mochi and Frosting. Short game, short and cute though. I'm I guess. I'm I'm waiting in anticipation for the next one, you know. Then we'll see. There you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you then.